things to do in Lisbon. First thing is have pasta donata and literally have one every day or more than one because it is so delicious. Number two, go on the juicy lift for a city view. The line isn't too bad. You will wait, but I think like about 15 to 20 people go on one lift. So it the line finishes quite quickly and make sure you top up your metro card um and you have basically about three euros in it because each ride costs about one one euro 60 and instead of paying once you get there which is five euro 30 number three go see the the arc the augusta one it is very popular and also you can climb up it if you like for a city view we couldn't because we have a kid and you can even see the bridge the bridge view by the water Number four, go have Paso de Nata at Paso de Bellum. It is so popular and it is so delicious. We literally bought a pack of six. It is completely different from everywhere else. After that, you are going to go see the Bellum Tower. You will have to cross the highway, so just look for a bridge. Usually Google Maps will direct you there, right? And then after that, you will see a monument. Um, you can say about a 10-15 minute walk from the Bellum Tower. Go see that too. And then from there, we went to Alfama District. We took it the best way to get there is take the tram 28 and um, because then you don't have to walk uphill and you will get to a stop where you see obviously the view get off there and go to Miradura di San Lucia that's a very popular area a lot of people here go for the sunset and it is such a vibe and I wish we stayed there for sunset but maybe next time number eight everyone goes to Pink Street just go there just to see the vibe right and then number nine, have coffee or brunch at Deer Breakfast. Honestly, you get to see the view of the tram and make sure you get a seat at the top because they have upstairs and downstairs. It is such a vibe. I really, really enjoyed it. I really want to go back there, honestly. And their food was good too. Number 10, walk on the Avenue Liberdad. It's basically a very popular avenue. It has all the designer brands. So obviously, if you want that, go there. And then after that, go to Park Eduardo, which has like, a, it's a famous garden, as you can see here. Um, you can take the metro to the top. It will be easier. Number 11, ride the Trend 28 for a city view, but you have to go to the first stop. So if you put it on Google Maps, you will see it, but avoid going between 11 and 3 p.m. because it is really, really busy, as you can see here. Like you'll be waiting for a while. And this was winter, guys. So yeah, we went after 3 p.m. and that's how we got on quickly and got to choose our spot. Make sure you sit on the left side because then you get the view, a really, really good view. Number 12, that would be Go to Sintra for the day and visit Pina Palace. I think Pina Palace should be your number one uh, to start with because it gets really busy. And people say you can only manage up to two, like two castles or palaces in one trip in a day because there's a lot to do. And that's literally how much we did. We did the Pina Palace first, then we did the Quinta de Regalera, which is a must because it's a fairy tale castle. I was so obsessed. Honestly, like both of them were, were such a favorite. We would have loved to do Morris Castle, but there was not enough time. So I think if you rush through them, you could do Morse Castle, but it's up to you because it is really, really tiring. Um, and lastly, number 13 is go to Bikes of Shaidu. We were staying in the Bikes of Shaidu area where our hotel was, which is International Design Hotel. So we were already in the area. If you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye.